Kamen Brig is a Roman bridge that has been around for literally hundreds of years. It is unknown the year in which the bridge was first built. However, inscriptions on the parapet tell us that it was rebuilt in 1619 and then repaired on numerous occasions throughout the following three centuries. The most famous story, however, surrounding the Cram and Brig is that of the good man of Ballangaich. Our story begins in the year 1597. The good man of Ballangaich, who was King James V, he used to dress up as a farm labourer uh, so that he could meet the common people, so the story goes. Uh, one time when he was crossing the bridge to go back to Edinburgh, he was set upon by five or six gypsies. Uh, despite defending himself quite well, uh, he was heavily outnumbered, obviously. Luckily for James, a local heard the scuffle and came running from his barn, which was on this very spot, to see what was happening. Seeing that the man was outnumbered, he ran to his aid with his trusty flail. And between them, they fought off the five gypsies who fled. After this, the local man then escorted James into Edinburgh, should he be attacked again. As the two men walked, King James asked his new companion his name and what he did. The local man replied that his name was Jock Howison and that he was a bondsman on the farm of Bray Head, which at that point belonged to the King of Scotland. The King then asked Jock that if he had any wish in the world, what would it be? Jock replied he would be the happiest man in Scotland should the farm he worked on belong to him. Then in turn, Jock asked the King who he was and what he did. The King replied, as always, that he was the good man of Ballangaich, a poor man with a small appointment at Holyrood Palace. The King then offered Jock to come to Holyrood Palace the following Sunday. Jock turned up uh, at the appropriate time, was met by the King, not knowing it was the King. Uh, the King showed him round and then asked Jock if he would like to meet the King. Uh, he said yes, but he said that he wouldn't know the King if he saw him. And how would he know him? Uh, the good man said to Jock, you'll be able to recognise him because everybody else in the room will take their hats off when the king appears. So the two of them walked into the room full of nobles who all took their hats off and Jock realised that the only people with their hats on were himself and the good man of Alangeich. So he said to the king, not knowing it was the king yet, it's either you or me that's the king. And the king said, yes, well, it's me, of course. Um, and in due course, the king told him that he was going to give him the farm at Brayhead. Cram and Brig and its surrounding areas are rich in history. The parish of Cram and supersedes the existence of the city of Edinburgh itself. This makes Cram and Brig an important symbol of heritage for both Mid and West Lothian. And because of the story of the good man of Ballangaich, the bridge has immortalised itself in Scotland's history.